What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm Epiphany Tanya and today we're going to get into some topics. I'm going to give you some commentary and I'm going to want to hear from you. So you're going to make sure you want to smash that like, hit that subscribe and drop me a comment down in the comment section. Let's get into so much to cover. It's been a little while. I missed you guys. I know nobody cares whether or not I drink, but as a Christian woman, no, I don't drink. Apple juice people. <laughs> All right. Welcome to my channel. This is Epiphany Tanya. I just want you to stay tuned. I want you to keep watching this channel because I am working on something bigger, a longer video. So you got to really go to that main home page to make sure you're getting the notifications of my longer videos because I'm working on something for these woke teachers in the schools. You would be surprised how many comments I get on my video telling me that this is not happening. They're saying that I'm lying, that these teachers aren't pushing an agenda on the children in the schools. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not arguing with anybody back and forth on any comments. I'm going to do work on a video coming sometime this week that has video evidence proof of what these teachers are saying and doing in the classrooms in the schools. Okay, so we don't have to go back and forth. So stay tuned, check out my longer videos, keep watching. This is Epiphany Tanya, thanks for watching. So here we go, because I've been putting out quite a few of these videos about the woke alphabet soup teachers. And uh, I've had so many comments now, people telling me I'm lying and this is not happening. So we got to help these people <laughs> search the internet. And I say to them, and I say to myself as well, like, you found my video, but yet you're telling me this is not happening. And it's called the search bar. Um, as you can see, if you just type into the um, address bar in the search on YouTube, you'll have a whole litany of things pop up. But let's just start with this teacher right here. Woke teacher tells elementary school students there's a spectrum of gender identities. Elementary school. Elementary school. So what? But let's hear what she has to say. Gender identity helps children develop critical social emotional skills such as self-awareness, social awareness, and respect. I teach my students that there's a whole spectrum of gender identities and that everyone, whatever their gender, deserves love and respect. Some people are girls, some are boys, some are both, some are neither. Gender is all about how we feel on the inside and how we express ourselves. The most important thing I teach my students is that it's our job to listen to and learn from people when they share with us who they are, and that we need to use the name and the pronouns that people ask us to use when we refer to them. Here are some of the books and tools that I found the most useful when teaching about gender identity. One thing I could say is, say is the blood of Jesus. This is elementary school. This woman is an elementary school teacher. Why do they need to know about this? We're gonna move on from her. Uh, let's go back. Let's find some other ones. So that's one teacher. So here's my message for all these woke alphabet soup teachers. As a heterosexual person who works with children and who has worked with children for several years now, I don't really feel the need to discuss my status as a heterosexual with a child. That would be, hmm, let me see, inappropriate. That's what that would be. So in all my profession and career of having work with children, families, couples, adults, I don't feel the need to discuss my personal status of the sexual nature. Why would I do that? What would be the purpose? A better question is, what is your purpose? What is your purpose and why are you upset at a parent's rights bill that involves a parent in their child? Because you think that this is a game, but these people are coming after our children when they said it was a conspiracy theory before that we said this was happening. No, this is, this is real. This is definitely going down. So if you want to see the mama bears 
lose their mind. And the Papa Bears are really gonna have a, a time with you when you're messing with people's kids. So part two to the woke teachers. I was doing my research, 34% of fourth graders below the reading level in fourth grade. But you're concerned about making sure that they know how to wave a rainbow flag or that they know your identity and status or whatever woke nonsense you're pushing down their throat. That obviously takes precedence for you as a teacher over their basic learning skills. Somehow you've determined that those numbers that are on the U.S. Department of Education's website, that's your people, somehow those numbers aren't as important. But pushing your agenda is. Okay, here's one. Let's let's look at her. And I mean, this, it's just tons and tons of these videos. This has been my first year in preschool with a class preschool. Of Wait, let me let me pause side. this. Preschool, preschool. Why, 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 why does a preschool child need to hear this nonsense crap? Preschool. You can indoctrinate. Look at this. Look at this evil look on her face when I pause the. Oh my goodness. This is a demon seed right here. This is a demon seed teacher. Preschool, look at the evil. Look at the evil spewing out. Evil. Oh my goodness. Another queer neurodivergent educator. And we have been rocking our two's class. We've been talking about gender and skin color and consent and empathy and our bodies and autonomy. It's been fabulous. But our teaching team is shifting and a new person is being onboarded, someone with many years of experience. So today at the lunch table, when the topic of gender and genitals came up, one of our students- Why do preschoolers, preschool teacher, need to be talking to children about their genitals? That is a job for their parents, your teacher, you're not a doctor or a counselor. It should be limited people that have access to this type of conversation with the child. Because the more you open a child up to have these conversations, we call this, there's a word for this, it's called grooming. You're grooming that child to be okay with sharing personal sexual conversation topics with an adult, with someone that could be a child molester. This woman looks evil. Sounds evil, looks evil. This is of the enemy. This is not of God. But if I go into a classroom and I begin to teach and preach about Jesus Christ, what's going to happen to me? But she can go in here and she can shove her, shove her gender mess down some preschoolers' throats. Okay. Students plainly looked up and said, well, I'm a girl today, but I know that teacher Co isn't. No, they're Envy. And the look on the incoming teacher's face was priceless. She was shocked in a good way. And she just looked around at the two of us and said, this class is incredible. And I am so impressed. She is jumping up and down and screaming to be an evil demon seed and teach this mess to preschoolers. You know what preschool age is? That means before kindergarten. That means you're three, you're four years old. Are you serious? You have to be kidding me. But they told me that I was lying. Okay, let's keep going. This is demonic. This is evil. I didn't even want to do this video, but they're trying to tell me in these different comments that this is not happening, that, <laughs> that I'm lying, that 
um, all this nonsense. During controversy, students were asked to answer very personal questions about their gender identity. Now, a local LGBTQ task force is calling an emergency meeting. Now, this is just one of the incidents they plan to discuss. ACTV 5's Betsy Webster joins us live now outside the district headquarters there in Olathe. Betsy, what is the issue here? Well, uh, this involved a worksheet that was passed out in class that talked about gender identity then it had some questions at the bottom asking the students to identify theirs. It has sparked some concerns on both sides of the political spectrum for different reasons. This is a photo of the worksheet on what's termed the gender unicorn. It was sent to us by state rep Adam Thomas, who was upset when his child brought it home from a 10th grade class this week. The Republican lawmaker took issue with the subject matter. He emailed us saying, let kids be kids. Whoever they decide to be is fine, but the classroom is not the place to push this ideology onto them. That's at home with their family or with a school counselor. We want to center those who have uh, felt that they were victimized. What LGBTQ activist Justice Horn takes issue with is the questions at the end. Prying, he said, into what some students consider private. People are trying. They have good intentions, and what we're here to do is further educate. So we're, you know, hitting the mark on these issues. <laughs> What worries him more? This is even crazy that even the LGBTQ people is like, this is not right. <laughs> but this is this is in a high school. Some people would debate that, oh, you know, 10th grade, that's okay. You still, they're still under the age of 18. You still need parental consent for just about anything else you're going to do. When you go to the doctor, you go to the counselor, worked as a counselor, mental health counselor here. We need parental consent before we can talk to a child for counseling. Everything else needs parental consent, but yet you think you can just dump this stuff on a child and their parents be okay with that and that be okay? I don't care what age it is. Up until the age of 18, when they get to cons be considered a legal adult, you have no right to push your woke ideology on them. In Olathe, the district sent a statement saying the worksheet was not approved or appropriate because it could violate student privacy. Quote, while this worksheet was not appropriate in terms of the information requested, a spokesperson wrote, the district supports all students and strives to create inclusive environments where students can reach out to trusted adults for support. That is hogwash. The trusted adults are their parents. And if the parents are having problems, raising their children, supporting their children, understanding their children, they can reach out to other professionals for help. This is not the school's job and they're overstepping, they're encroaching, and they're outside of their bounds. That spokesperson told me that uh, the students have been told not to complete that worksheet and the district is working with staff to ensure that it does not get used again. Live in Olathe, Kansas, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News. Okay, we're just scratching the surface. There's so many more stories. <laughs> we could be here all day. I don't have enough time in the video. But I want you to drop it down in the comments, your thoughts on this complete, utter nonsense. And um, yeah. This, this is, yeah, I'm going to have to take a pause because this type of stuff, like, I, I'm feeling a little queasy to my stomach. It's disgusting. It's disgusting what they're doing to our children. And somebody needs to stand up, speak up, speak out. And this is not okay. This is not okay, people. This is not okay. This is really going way too far. And, um... Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm, mm. <laughs> I'm just like, I cannot, I cannot. Uh, I'm not a big fan of KBJ, whatever her name is, but she said one thing during those hearings that I want you guys to hear and hear good. And I want you to follow your friend. She said, I stay in my lane. You woke teachers. You are so outside of the lane that you are crashing into other cars. You have no business impeding on the rights of parents, 
You all in the rights and the role of a counselor, because if these kids are having issues and they are struggling with their identity, they need to be talking to a counselor, not a teacher. Your job is reading, math, and arithmetic. That's what you need to focus on and get your sick, twisted minds out of the gutter off of those children and stick to their education. Bring up those reading levels and those educational levels. I take this time to welcome you each here. Thank you so much for coming. Welcome to Democratics Anonymous. Do you all want to take a turn going around and just introducing yourselves to each other? Well, hi everyone. My name is Sarah and I'm here because I was a Democrat for so many years. And then the other day, I went to the pump. This is all that was left in my pocket when I came out. So I came here to try to escape those Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to be a Democrat no more. Please help me. <laughs> when the government start handing out money, I'm right there. Okay? In case you ain't know. Before the Democrats came into my life, things were going fine. They were well. But I'm not a racist. I marched in the streets. I am a woke white. Okay, so do not attack me. I was right there with you with my fists in the air. The reason why I actually wanted to leave the, the Democrats, because my cousin Ray Ray, he had just opened up his own business, right? So we helped him get his business started. And the next thing I know, summer 2020 happened, they burned his business to the ground. When I seen them Antifa people and them BLM people burn my cousin Ray Ray business to the ground, that's when I said, oh no, oh no. Like this, mm-mm, mm-mm. I said, uh-uh, uh-uh. Like I was just, I was done after that. Like I was like, I gotta come out of this Democratic Party. I knew something was wrong when they said defund the police. That was my first indication that I may be in a bad party, a bad democratic party. They have a lot of fake empathy over there in the democratic side. They fake so much stuff. Like even, you know, and I try to bring up to the black community about all the, yes, there I go saying black again, but <laughs> give me another name. <laughs> I try to tell them about what about all these racist things this man has said and done? They just like, oh, he apologized. So they fall for it every time. It's just like hook, line, and sinker. Somebody fake empathetic. You got to know the real empathetic people from the fake ones, right? That Democratic Party is full of fakery. It's fake. It's fake. It's fake. It's fake. I can't. <laughs> I can't get you to understand. It's My husband laughing in the background. <laughs> so, yes. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, share, share this video.